Hey guys, I just wanted to share a testimony. Um, so as you know, I have divine appointments. And so sometimes I know when a spirit is calling me to go somewhere or to talk to someone. So I caught an Uber and I went to Pasadena. And basically this um, divine appointment... He was telling me how the first five years of his marriage was very difficult. So I wanted to hear his story. So he told me that this was an Uber driver. He told me that the first five years of his marriage was very, very difficult because um, his wife basically grew up in Colombia. But the thing is, her parents abandoned her so that uh, she lived in without her dad and her dad would sometimes like go back and like basically like abuse her um so like she, he's like i don't know why like you know she's like very she's like a neat freak she's a clean freak i was like she probably has ocd and if she was abused that's part of the reason that she may want things the way she wants because i noticed like for myself um uh, my parents fought a lot and there are just certain things I'm, like, really perfectionistic about. And, like, I just want everything to be perfect or, like, I want things to look the way that I want them to look. And um, it's partly because of some childhood trauma, like, parents fighting, throwing stuff at each other, you know, pulling me back and forth. And so... As I kind of like analyze his wife's situation, I realize that I have similar tendencies, right? So he's like, he's like, you know, I always go for like really good looking women, but for some reason they're very emotionally unstable. So I thought, okay, that's really interesting. And then, so he's like, um, like his, his wife in the beginning would like hit him or like beat, beat him up. And I was like, why didn't you just, like, leave or something, you know? But anyway, so as I was just hearing his story, I was like, wow, that's kind of how I feel right now. Not that I want to beat anyone up, but just, like, sometimes the numbness comes in, like, after going through a lot, like, emotionally, having to do with relationships. It's like, for me... When a guy has done me wrong or, like, lied to me or it's just, like, I've experienced, like, negative experiences with men, what happens is I shut down emotionally and then I have, like, it's like I just go numb completely and I can't even express myself um, because I've, like, shut down my heart, right? So a lot of times when you don't grow up with your parents or you don't grow up with your dad or mom, like, whatever gender right uh you have issues with that gender like if you have issues with your mom you have a hard time communicating with her you probably are gonna have issues with women communicating in a relationship if you have uh issues communicating with your dad you're gonna at one point to self-protect not continue to communicate with a male because you're scared of abandonment you're scared of not being understood you have your walls up and i really actually experienced that today where i felt very numb emotionally and what took like a breakthrough was me getting pulled over um and like basically that triggered me to cry and i didn't even realize that i was feeling all of that and it was like really depressing me and I was just like I'm not like this usually like what is going on with me and I, I realized it really all came from that one person who last year like he didn't want a relationship but I didn't realize that because I was so emotionally open with him we would talk and converse about everything and it's like all of a sudden I didn't have that anymore that emotional support and I just felt like I lost a parent in a sense like I lost a source of stability and um so it's very easy for us to shut down but like and a lot of times people are like no just spend time by yourself and like heal 
But actually, the way to heal these kind of issues is to open up your heart to more people of that gender. (laughs) Because you want to continue to have an open heart. Some of us have walls, like, sky high to whatever gender. And, like, we're scared to let people in because we've been hurt by that gender, right? Like, and that's why a lot of people are like, oh, I hate hate women or I hate men because men are all like this. But... That's not true. That's so not true. Not every guy is like that. And just kind of hearing this Uber driver's story. And also, I was telling him, you know, a lot of times guys say women are crazy. But what... Because he was like, God, why did you put me with this woman? But I also said to him, like, okay, well, if women who are emotionally unstable are appearing in your life, is it because you're not speaking up for yourself? Like, that, you know, you're not voicing your opinions in a relationship. You're not standing up for yourself. And so I see these, like, nice guys who date, like, model-type women. And they're getting controlled or they're getting manipulated. Because what is God trying to teach you in this relationship? Instead of calling the woman crazy, maybe look at yourself and see, am I speaking up for myself? Am I being vocal about how I feel? Because oftentimes, men who are introverted or, like, less expressive, what happens is, like, yeah, they see a hot girl and it's like, oh, she's emotionally unstable. But it's like, well, is it because you're not speaking up for yourself? Is it because you're not expressing how you feel in that relationship? And so, like, that's kind of, like, what I've learned is... You know, people have called me like, oh, you're too emotional or like you're too much and you're too this. It's like, well, maybe it's because you're not that that other person is not expressing how they feel. So I almost feel like I am projecting emotions that I'm sensing from them that they're not expressing to me. So like if I'm in a room with a person, right, and they're suppressing how they actually feel and they're annoyed or whatever. I can sense that because I'm next to them. So I'm like, okay, this person is suppressing an emotion. And so because I'm literally feeling how they're feeling, I'm expressing it for them. Does that make sense? So like even when you look at little children, like they will express and have tantrums because their parents are suppressing how they feel. So the kid is drawing upon that kid is drawing upon the energy that their parent is giving off. So if their parent is suppressing anger, they're going to start becoming angry. But so, and so like sometimes we draw upon like the energy that someone else is giving off. And we're like, why am I so depressed? You know, and it's like maybe someone around you is feeling depressed and you're, you're basically absorbing their energy and their feelings and their emotions and that's something I did a lot growing up with especially with my mother right she was always mad and I'm like okay like self-blame like blaming myself for her to be mad not necessarily at me but like her she's mad at life she's mad at my dad you know for cheating or whatever but that's like her problem it's not even mine right so anyways I just want to pray for us today um heavenly father god i just pray right now in the name of jesus that you will dissipate any feelings of hurt or pain that is in our hearts help us to feel it and to speak our truth and i pray that god if there's any like spirit of depression or spirit of death hovering over us i pray to to just i speak life over you that um, you are loved in Jesus' name, that you are loved and that you are accepted by God, that you are not an orphan, that, um, like, um, there's nothing that God won't do for you because he will fulfill every promise that he has for you. He will fulfill it. Your dreams will come true. And don't give up. Don't give up and let love in. Let love in in Jesus' name. Let love in. And like to forgive your parents, like your father or your mother. 
So that's it. God bless you. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, or comment. And make sure to subscribe to my blog, RebeccaLeon.com. Bye. Good night.